that I was able to do something that made me happy with around you know around people that you know are positive and that are progressive and you know to have a, a great mindset it's just you know sometimes it's unexplainable the feeling that you have inside and um, the type of influence that we can provide for the younger generation is just insurmountable. that everyone in the audience knows that they are, they are part of this conversation, the new Flint. That's why I'm here, because uh, this talented company and this talented people have done an amazing job, and it's the beginning of something very beautiful. And I'm very proud to be part of it, and I look forward to seeing what's next. We call different places home, but have the same aspiration. We all took different paths to the stage, but, but share, share the, the same, same motivation. motivation. Where are you from? I'm from Atlanta, where the racism is real. Where are you from? I'm from Saudi Arabia, where kids steal to have a meal. Where are you from? I'm from Flint, where it feels like those old wounds will never heal. In my city, they'll rob you, even if you're pretty. In my city, it's not about who you are, it's about who you know on the committee. In this city, miss a payment and shut your water off with no pity. And I kept thinking how these schools don't provide these art programs and not allow them to have the joy of it and I feel like it's their right to have it. How could they not allow them to have that feeling on a daily basis because that what they need to grow up with. And then um, when I gave my spoken words I felt like a superhero for myself before, before, before for the kids. The thing that really touched home for me the most was being able to touch you know, people. Um, before I got up this morning, I was like, if I could just touch one person, uh, I'll feel like I accomplished something or I did something great because when I was, you know, younger, I, I didn't have people to reach out and motivate me to do the right thing. Y'all, y'all, he's also trying to change. And if he can change, why can't I? I was them once. I was a victim to bullying. And I thought if I did not stand up for myself, nobody else would. And when I saw her in the same position I once was in, I knew I had to stand up and say something. No one should ever think that being a bully is okay. And no one should ever think it's their fault. We have to stand up against bullying, one bully at a time. So for us to be able to speak and communicate in the way that people are bully being bullied now, it just meant so much. And you could see like how the room would get quiet as we talked about Facebook and Instagram. It's like they had somebody to identify with. For somebody who has personally been bullied from first grade until eighth grade, um, I didn't realize during our scene that there were emotions that I thought being at 28th that I had let go. And it was, a, it was rather refreshing letting, letting those feelings go in a very creative way. Know yourself and know your self-worth. Don't be afraid to be eccentric and just do it for you and keep it authentic. Thank you. The first time doing something like this in a school audience, like stage like this, really euphoric feeling, like happiness just overcame me once I was done with my, with my speech and my poem because I knew that this is what I want to do. I want to make a change for for my community, and that's why I'm with Shop Floor Theater. We find that this is really important and necessary, this work that we're doing. So we're really excited about the performance and seeing these guys come out and perform the song that we wrote together and sharing it with everybody, and hopefully we get the opportunity to do it again. All right.